Hi guys, welcome back and apologies. And I really do mean apologies for the uh, lapse of videos in the last couple of weeks. The interesting thing that happened was we were having a few issues with damp and condensation in the bathroom. So we decided to ask the roofer that we use for all of our solar projects to come around and fit a vented tile for us. And that led to an absolute chaotic 12 days. The felt, batten, everything like that had all rotted away. So we've basically, for the last two weeks, had scaffolding up outside. Whole roof, both on our property and next doors, has completely been removed. The insulation has been replaced, the felt and batten has been replaced, and the roofs have been retiled. Two weeks of chaos is probably an understatement. The wind and weather conditions were not prime for any of this work to happen. Uh, the scaffolding pretty much fell down whilst we had the wind. That had to result in a Sunday night 9pm emergency call to the scaffolding company and the roofers to come and assist with removing as much as possible because it was blowing around the street. And in the meantime, we have been carrying on with the solar. Good news is we've been given our G99 approval from the DNO and that has come through as 5 kilowatts. So happy days with that. That has changed our plan slightly. We have increased the amount of panels that we were going to put on the roof and we've also now got a very nice five kilowatt export allowed via the proposal from the DNO. We have to submit all of our various bits and pieces but we have six months to complete that. It won't be taking that long. We have been out on the roof today and the panels are installed. There's eight 405 watt panels installed and wired ready to be brought back into the little shed that i built during the summer of last year the mains cable is now all the way into that shed the fuse board is in and we are at the point where we can pretty much connect it all together the order has been placed for the inverter the battery and everything like that as we're a vat business it really makes a difference to us in regards to waiting till the first of february for the vat to change we'll just claim the vat back and we'll be best to get that done and sorted the electrical side of things in the shed is going along quite nicely we have got the outside lights back up and running on their supply and the new fuse box fuse board is in place ready for the solar to be connected for both import and export the data systems are slowly coming together um, and we are literally at the point where we are waiting for everything to kind of be connected together and mm, within the next 10 days i would say we would start producing which is a perfect time for us considering the weather is starting to change now and all the other bits and pieces. There's a few little snippy kind of time warp videos and some time lapse videos that we're going to include on this one. And then there is a load of other stuff. So there will be a few videos this week where we will be giving you updates as to how things have progressed and what's going on. Um, we'll go through the process of the CT clamp, the E115 sorry the em115 that we need to fit for the give energy system that will be installed and the inverter and all the rest of it will show you how that all works how that all sets up and commissions and stuff within reason because obviously some of that stuff is uh, purely for approved installers only and we can't really kind of show you too much they don't particularly like the fact that there's potential for people to self-install <laughs> but yeah the g99 has come in and uh, we're all good to go so we will be um giving you a couple of updates over the next couple of days look forward to seeing you on the next videos but take a look at what's happened in the last couple of weeks and i'll see you next time